Hey guys, CJ here again, PBX How To's. Today, what I'm going to do is teach you a quick video on how to uh, set up your G430 to port mirror or mirror these two ports right here, LAN 10 slash 4, LAN 10 slash 3, to allow you to sniff packets and give that packet capture to your network team, to Verizon, to whoever you're dealing with if they're telling you you're having call quality or network issues. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to plug into this services port right here, not this one but this one right here, okay? And you're gonna assign your network address on whatever connection you're plugging into services to the 192.13 or 11.13.5 because you need to get into the Avaya services port. For more information, check out the implementation guides in your area. <laughs> All right, so uh, uh, let me get back to here, portal laps. All right, so quick, I've assigned or my gateway is assigned uh, the IP address of 192.168.1.188. Okay, as you can see, it's replying to me. And my IP address is 192.168.157. Remember that. That's important. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to get into the Avaya services port using PuTTY. All right, so here I am. I'm going to log in with the root. Okay, you're going to log in as root. Once you're in there, you type help, and you can see all these neat little things you can do, okay? There's capture, capture service, blah, 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 all right? But what you're going to want to do is, is you're going to set your port mirror, and how to do that is you type set port, and if you don't know, hit tab. You can see tab, and always, always, always remember the help, because there's so many commands in the system, I have to do this to remind me how to do it. And you, as you can see right here, you set port mirror the source port and what port you want to mirror or the, the port that's going to mirror that port, the sampling type, the direction, and that way you can start capturing it. And FYI, I'm going to show you what capture tool I use. It's called Wireshark, but I'll show you how to get it here in a second. All right, so we're going to do set port mirror source. And you see how I'm not typing the whole thing and I hit tab and it auto-completes? Uh -huh. All right, there you go. So we're going we're gonna to capture... 10.3, that's the source port. The mirror port is going to be 10 slash 4. Okay. The sampling is going to be uh, always, as you can see. Oops. Yeah, sampling. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sampling, I'm sorry, always. Always. And the direction is going to be both. Bam. Marrying both RX and transmit, or receive and transmit packets from port 10.3 to port 10 slash 4 is enabled. And just to remind you, 10.3, 10.4. 10.3, 10 10.4. You got that? Good. All right. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to go download a uh, wire or a, um, not a wire, Ugh. you're going to go download Wireshark because that's what I use, but you can use any net sniffing packet software you want. But Wireshark is free. You can go download it for free, and you can use it for free, and it works on 64-bit machines as well as 32-bit machines. All right, so here we are in Wireshark. Now that my network is set up and capturing, this is the device that my IP address of 157 is on, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Let me bring this down here. You click on this little icon up here, it says list available capture devices, and you can see there's packets coming in. I have it checked. I click start. And look, there's information coming in. You can see the Avi information here. You can see the uh, the system talking back and forth to one another. So there you go. All right? You can see all the different addresses. Now, you don't see 188 in here because, really, there's nothing going on in the PBX. But this is how you capture your information. And when this is all done, you stop the capture, you can filter based on IP address that these things are talking. You can see the Avaya MAC address in here talking to one another. You can see the Action Tech, which is what I'm plugged into on my Dell machine. But you can see these guys are talking back and forth. You, this is how you capture uh, the H248 calls. And the way you do that is if there's calls you want to test, you click on VoIP calls right here. Let me bring this down. And it will populate with any... SIP or VoIP calls that have occurred, 
and you can look at the flow of them. And unfortunately, I don't have one here. I'll have to show you that in another one when I go deeper into the net sniffing stuff. Um, but you click on the flow of a call and you can see where it's going. You can see it's full call flow and you can also play it to hear back of any quality issues, okay? But uh, that's it. That's a pretty quick and dirty uh, how to sniff using your Via G430 or actually any of your gateways, except the 650, of course. <laughs> um, but just going back to what I was talking about, these things have a lot of things uh, built into them to help you troubleshoot issues, all right? So there you guys go. If you have any questions on this, feel free to drop me a line at cj at pbxhowtos.com or send me a message in YouTube or follow me on Twitter, all right? All right, guys, I got to go to work. Talk to you later. Bye.